LP always giving you all access. Right now, I am chilling in the Hollywood Hills with my man, MC Ganey. What's up, man? You got it, man. <laughs> now, you guys have seen this face before. You might be thinking right now, oh, where is he from? He's been in just about every movie that's out right now. <laughs> doing this thing, and I caught up with him at his house. You been doing all right, man? I've been doing real good. Yeah? I got no complaints at all. Yeah, well, like I said, man, we've seen you in a lot of movies. Run some of them down for us. Yeah, you know, I, I got one of those faces that turns up all the time. People always come up and say, man, Aren't you a fireman? Didn't you used to go up with my sister? Uh, Didn't you help build my cousin's barn? Something. You know, people always want to know that, but they don't know who my name at all. Right. Uh, well, Con Air would probably be the one that most people have seen. I played Swamp Thing, the convict that flew the plane and yep. landed it on the strip. And uh, Breakdown, I played another uh, homicidal maniac in that. How did you get your start in acting? Since we have seen you everywhere, you know, oh, was it a long time ago that you got Yeah, it was. I started out in college, uh, I started doing plays, and then uh, I had a good time doing that, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just for grins, I'll go to acting school. So I went to San Francisco and studied acting for three years. And I came to Hollywood, and when I got here, I had a list of some of the greatest plays that, uh, on my resume that in the English-speaking language, and they took one look at me and said, yeah, yeah, give him a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, uh, I see, uh, probably about 160 TV shows. No way. Yeah. And back in the day, now, back in the 80s, when it was T.J. Hooker, Simon & Simon, Knight Rider, I mean, it was all, every show, every week had to have bad guys. Yeah. And I was busy, I was quite busy being a bad guy back then. Yeah, well, how, how was it making that transition from being a bad guy all the time to, you know, to be a good guy? Well, you know, sometimes it's easier than others. Now, in, for instance, in Breakdown, I starved myself down to 220 pounds and wore a long sleeve black shirt in the desert when we shot it, so I was pretty cranky. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I didn't have to work that hard to be a homicidal maniac. Right. But sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you're having so much fun doing a movie. For instance, Con Air. Right. Now, Con Air was a special movie because all these guys that I'm always competing with for bad guy roles, we're all in the same movie. Yeah. And we're working for Jerry. And when you're working for Jerry Bruckheimer, mm -hmm. you're having fun. Yeah. Jerry, don't, he, he doesn't spare any expense. He wants you to have a good time. So sometimes you'd be laughing and joking and having a good time, and they say, okay, action, you gotta turn around and start killing people. Yeah. It gets a little tough. Right. Man, so with the competition out there of all the other bad guys, do you have to go on a lot of auditions? Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, you go through different levels. When I first started out, I had to uh, audition all the time. Now I get, sometimes I don't have to. You know, they say an actor in Hollywood has five levels to his career. Okay. Level one is, who is MC Gaming? Right. Level two is get me MC Ganey. Okay. Level three is get me an MC Ganey type. Gotcha. Level four is get me a young MC Ganey. And of course, level five is who is MC Ganey. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I'm somewhere between three and four. You know? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, most actors that you hear about or see on TV who are hanging and living in the Hollywood Hills, you know, they're, they're living it up. I'm living you know, it up. You're living it up, but it's like you keep it humble. What I made do. you choose to do it like this? I, well, you know, I'm a southerner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been in Hollywood a long time. Now, I had my time in the 70s and 80s of living it up. I'm keeping it humble now because I'm tired and old. <laughs> hey, you know, I realized it's nothing good can happen to you out there late at night, so uh -huh. you might as well be at home. Right. As my friends say, the hour keeps getting earlier and earlier. It used to be nothing good can happen to you in public after midnight. Mm -hmm. Now it's down to about 10 o'clock, and my friends say pretty soon I'll be saying nothing good can happen to you after the early bird special. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I like, to, I like to stay home. I spend so much of my life in hotels, on location, yeah. in places like North Carolina, which is a fabulous place to be, and yeah. Atlanta, and New Orleans, and Texas, all over. And when I come home, I hide out. Well, you know what? This is a great house in the Hollywood Hills, and I'm ready to take a tour. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right. Let me show you around. This is kind of like home. I know you say you're from Mississippi, and yeah, we're in Hollywood, but this yeah. reminds me a little of the country. It is a lot like North Carolina, you know? <laughs> mountains and trees and greenery. Yeah, this part of, uh, this part of Hollywood back 60, 70 years ago was way out in the country, and people had their summer homes up here, little cabins and stuff, getaways. But now the city's grown up, we're right in the middle. But it does feel like North Carolina. If I had a river, it'd be perfect. <laughs> All right, MC, you know what really tripped me out? What's that? It's like we're on the side of a mountain right now. Yeah. And I see $10 million homes just on the top of a mountain. <laughs> if you look up over here, you'll see they've perfected out here the ability to build a big concrete slab right on the side of the mountain and then build a house up above that. It's kind of scary when you get out on one of those balconies up here. But tell me what happens when a big earthquake comes because... You know, that's amazing. We've had several big earthquakes since I lived here and they don't move at all. 
I mean, I wouldn't want to be on one because it's all rocking and rolling around. But somehow, when it stops shaking, they still there, Larry. Mm. Only in Hollywood. Only in Hollywood, Daddy. <laughs> All right, MC. Well, you know, we're up here in the swing. I'm loving this. I'm kind of relaxed on the Hollywood Hills. I'm telling you, oh, you know, man. you come to Hollywood for the fast lane, and what do you find? A country boy up in the mountains with a swing in his backyard. That's right, man. Yo, I love hanging out with you. I'm going to let him relax a little bit. Country boy. <laughs>